Hello, I'm Chaplain Terry Irish. I served as a chaplain at City of Hope National Medical Center in Duarte, California for more than 10 years. I wanted to spend a few minutes visiting with you. I hope you have the time. I won't be long, I promise. During this chaplain talk, I'd like to consider to sleep or not to sleep, or getting plenty of rest. A longtime friend of mine shared a story with me the other day. Two men were talking when one of them asked the other, how are you doing coping with the COVID-15 pandemic? The other man responded, you mean the COVID-19 pandemic? The first man replied, no, I mean the 15 pounds you gained since the beginning of the COVID-19 pandemic. This humorous conversation points to one of the very real issues of the COVID-19 pandemic the stress which can cause people to overeat and gain weight. The opposite can also be the case. Weight loss due to the stress caused by not eating. The COVID-19 pandemic has led to a national and personal stress pandemic as well. When we experience stress, our bodies release adrenaline, preparing us for action. This process has also been referred to as the fight or flight response. Short term, our bodies can do some incredible things. Long term, we become tired and fatigue sets in. The high caused by the adrenaline rush leads to a low from adrenaline depletion, requiring the body to need time to recharge. In Chaplin talk number four, chocolate or apples, I discussed the importance of having a healthy diet. This is one way we help our bodies recharge. Another vital pro process or aspect of the body recharging process is sleep. According to the National Sleep Foundation, their website, sleepfoundation.org, again, that's sleepfoundation.org, lists the recommended hours of sleep per night for every age from newborn to those 65 and older. This website offers a host of helpful resources. Here are a few reasons sleep is so important during the COVID-19 pandemic, according to the Sleep Foundation guidelines. First, Sleep empowers an effective immune system by strengthening our body's defenses. Second, sleep heightens brain function. It helps us with the complex thinking, learning, memory, and decision-making we need to do every day. Simply put, our minds work better when we get good sleep. Third, sleep enhances mood. Many of us have been accused of getting out on the wrong side of the bed when we arrive at school or work in a grumpy mood. Lack of sleep, sleep can make us irritable, drag down our energy level, and cause or worsen feelings of depression. Fourth and finally, sleep improves mental health. Besides depression, studies have found that a lack of sleep is linked with mental health conditions such as anxiety and bipolar disorders, and post-traumatic stress disorder, or PTSD. COVID-19 has been the cause of untold numbers of people losing sleep over many stressful issues. Going to bed with these mental monsters chasing around inside our minds is keeping people awake, robbing us of vital hours that should be devoted to peaceful and precious sleep. So the question is, in the face of these sleep-stealing stressors, how do we go about getting a good night's sleep? Here are a few suggestions. One, utilize a relaxation stress reduction exercise. I developed an exercise that is available to help you relax and unwind prior to heading to bed. To download a free copy, the link will be in the comments section of the original post of this chaplain talk on the Hillside Church Facebook page. Again, 
The link will be available in the comments section of the original post of this chaplain talk on the Hillside Church Facebook page. Second, reserve your bed for sleep. Sleep experts at sleepfoundation.org emphasize the importance of creating an association in your mind between your bed and sleep. For this reason, they recommend that sleep and sex be the only activities that take place in your bed. This means that working from home shouldn't be working from bed. It also means avoiding bringing a laptop into bed to watch a movie or series. If you have trouble going to sleep, don't spend more than 20 minutes tossing and turning. Get out of bed and do something relaxing in very low light, then head back to bed and try to fall asleep. Three, take a note. If tomorrow's to-do list tends to crowd your mind as you try to drift off, try doing what I have done for many years. Write down these to-dos or ideas using pen and paper. In order to do this, I keep a pen and a four inch by six inch spiral notebook in my bedside nightstand. Or if you prefer, type out the ideas in a quick note on your smartphone. Then you can drift off knowing that you have captured these ideas and they will be there, there to address tomorrow. Fourth and finally, check in with your senses. Sleepfoundation.org suggests you tune in to what your senses are telling you in the present moment, such as how the sheets feel against your skin, what the sounds are outside your bedroom window, and how the air smells. These prevent you from focusing on stress-inducing thoughts. Let's pray. Lord God, thank you for loving us unconditionally, infinitely, and eternally. These days, we are faced with countless issues that can cause sleep to flee. We desperately need your hope as we find to find peace in the midst of this COVID-19 nightmare. We ask you to help us lie down in green pastures and lead us beside quiet waters and restore our souls. Help us to find sweet sleep, peace, and rest for our bodies, minds, souls, and spirits as we fix our thoughts on you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Well, thanks for letting me visit with you. Be, watch, be watching for the next Chaplain Talk, It's a Mystery to Me, which will be posted on the Hilltop Church, Church YouTube page in the next few days. Until then, keep looking up.